Are you a World Economic Forum plant? Is George Soros running your campaign? Where are the rat lines? Where are the strings? So I will say that I'm running for U.S. president. People should ask the hard questions. I'm going to be transparent at every step. World Economic Forum, what is my relationship with them? Answer, none, absolutely none, other than being probably their top critic in the United States. Read the two books I've written, look at the company Strive that I started to compete against their ESG agenda. Why are people asking the question though, Jack? It's because they bizarrely listed me on their list of young global leaders, this prestigious award they give to young billionaires and otherwise. I rejected the award. I repeatedly rejected it. And then a few months later, my name still pops up on their website. Turns out they've done the same thing to Elon Musk, to Glenn Beck, to others. But anyway, in my case, I don't believe in standing by. I respectfully asked them to take it down. When they did not comply, I sued them. I believe in taking action. And I think I'm the only person who has actually sued the World Economic Forum. And I expect just on the hard facts of it, we're going to be successful and demand that they make a hard commitment that they never do this to somebody else again. That's the World Economic Forum. You want me to hit Soros as well? Absolutely, please. Yeah. So another FAQ that has popped up, you brought it up as well, is what is my relationship with George Soros? Very clear answer. None. Zero direct or indirect relationship other than being one of the bigger critics in this country of the disastrous policies that he's been funding over the last decade, especially after 2016. Why are people asking the question? There was a separate scholarship that I won at the age of 24, 25, when I was going to law school in my mid-20s, in my early 20s, when I didn't have the money and it was a merit scholarship that hundreds of kids win that was partially funded, not by George Soros, but by Paul Soros, a relative, his brother, who, by the way, is now long dead, who, by the way, had... This is long before George Soros completely went off the deep end and really went toxic in the last decade. And to be perfectly honest with you, I would have had to be a fool to turn down that scholarship at the age of 24. Anyone that foolish, I think, should step nowhere near the White House doing trade deals on behalf of this country either. But I believe in standing for the truth. People are asking the questions. I believe in being transparent. And so that's the long and the short of that one.